right guys, last little bit of this one. So my Malteser slice has been in the fridge all afternoon actually, because I've been working. Um, it looks gorgeous. It's nice and set, nice and firm. Now, because I've got the silicon um, baking tray, I can just lift it out. I can peel the silicon away and lift it out and you can see it's nice and set solid. If you have used the parchment paper, you should actually just be able to lift the parchment paper out of your baking tray and peel away the parchment paper just as simply, okay? Now, you can see that this is cold and it's solid, so it's going to be difficult to cut. So I have a jug of hot water and a large chef's knife and I put the blade into the hot water just so that it will then slice more easily. It's still not going through that easily. You need some muscles. It'll slice more easily through the slice. And then, like I said, it's going to be super rich. So you don't want really huge pieces. I'm going to cut them quite small, little bite-sized pieces. And there you have it. Malteser slice ready to have a taste of. Okay, there we go. It looks quite yummy, doesn't it? I will see you next time. Bye-bye.